All right. This is Demonocalypse, and this is a game I have not done a video of in a while because I got caught up in other things. This is Warframe. I got Valkyrie. I got the Penta. I got the Sestra. I got the Aether Prime Reaper thingy. <laughs> All right. I'm a little bit out of it. Quite honestly, I am a little bit out of it. So, Valkyrie. First ability, good. Last ability, excellent. Third ability, eh, questionable. Second ability, useless. I'm, of course, talking about the Ripline, Paralysis, Warcry, and Hysteria. Ripline, direct damage as the damage. Hit someone, rips them towards you. Does a good deal of damage. Paralysis doesn't really do a lot, actually. Like it's it's to me at least it's fairly useless. I don't use anything besides Ripline and uh, uh, Hysteria, actually. Um, second ability paralysis. Third ability Warcry. Or do I have these backwards? I thought it was one, two, three, four. It could be one, two, three, four. Uh, okay. Well, the the neat thing about paralysis, if memory serves, or was it? Yeah, it's paralysis, which is it, that it does not cost energy. It instead costs shield strength. I'm sure anyone who's actually played the game and has this Warframe right now knows this already, but I think it's neat sucks away half your um, shield and then generates a blast wave that will hit your enemies around you. This couples nicely with Hysteria because while you have Hysteria active you're supposed to be invincible. You are not however I know you're not invincible because I got killed by the um, stalker while I was in Hysteria mode. Well I didn't get killed by him. It acts it acts more like um, Iron Skin from uh, the Rhino. It gives you a great deal of health while also buffing your physical, your melee attacks, but does not allow you to use your guns. Warcry, as far as I can tell, it's pretty much exactly like Roar from the Rhino and Fear from Necro. Necros, whatever his name is, I, I forgot, quite frankly, I, le I started leveling him halfway through, I just got bored, because his abilities are shit, um, or at least to me they're shit, so, uh, 1, 3, and 4 are okay, the 2, Warcry is not that great, in fact, I barely ever use it, because I'm barely ever in groups, the Penta is a grenade launcher, it is an interesting grenade launcher because it is a activated grenade launcher rather than a timed or sticky grenade launcher. Basically you shoot it, then you hit the aim button, and it explodes. Is this good? Is this bad? Personally, I like it. Um, I'd prefer it if it was a timed or a timed sticky or a proximity sticky because then it'd be a lot easier to mine certain pathways, but you can only have five grenades existing in the world at any one time, so that's a small issue. The It does normal impact damage, which you can see there, but it also does a secondary blast damage when it actually explodes. But the impact damage you're seeing now is based upon the grenade actually hitting someone, and yes, you can kill people with the grenade. In fact, it bounces rather well. Um, if, if you can bounce it correctly into a group of enemies, it'll be bouncing back and forth between a bunch of enemies and actually kill them, multiple enemies, just from bouncing. It is cool, in my opinion. Now, they've also introduced the new invasion system, where different people invade different areas at different times for different reasons and you get to choose which side you can fight for. Most of the time you're either choosing Grenier or Corpus against uh, infestation 
or against each other. Gallium, I don't want gallium. Gallium is... Well, resources just aren't worth it. Since I'm not in a clan right now, Field Ron and um, whatever the other one is, is most useful to me. But resources, it's just not worth it because it takes more runs to kill something than it does to actually just go out. It takes five runs to earn one Nero guaranteed, but within five runs, I'm fairly certain I can at least get three Neroads from actually just running the boss, so there's no point. There's no point at all. If you bump it up to like five or ten Neroads, yeah, I totally go for that. But one? No, not going to happen. And of course, you also have the cash prizes as well. I'm not going to go for a rescue mission. Rescue missions are terrible. So actually, um... Was, uh... Oh yeah, and when you're doing the these missions here, once you take it over for that faction, that is the faction you'll go against once it's released. So it seems like we're trying to get rid of all the infestation, so I'm guessing in a month or two we're going to have a massive inf infestation invasion event, which will be very, very interesting. Actually, I think I'm going to go for this one. Actually, I'm not even sure how good my Penta is going to be against um, Infested. Most of the time, I just run against uh, Gurnier and uh, Corpus. Because, quite frankly, they're the easiest to deal with. Actually, this this grenade launcher works fantastically. 1,000 damage. Now that's what I'm talking about. Of course, the um, grenades also do damage to you, just like every other explosive attack used by allies. Well, by yourself anyways, it doesn't affect allies. As you can see, I just killed him with a grenade bounce, which is fairly good in my opinion. Get over here. And Hysteria is probably the most fun ability. It's not the most effective ability, mind you, but it's one of the most fun abilities. For a uh, final. thing about the Petra is that it just has a really small um, clip size. It's only five rounds. You do a lot of damage within those five rounds. It's just that 
there's not a lot of bullets. So you gotta make sure that you use them effectively. Enemy left. Oh man. I think I gotta switch out one of my mods for a uh, stamina recovery. There's one, like, Valkyrie has very good um, stamina and very good speed, but the recovery is kind of terrible. Yes, open the door for me, please. Yes, thank you. I'm glad they're stabilizing some of the uh, voice acting as well, because that works very good indeed. I also readjusted my audio levels for this, so hopefully it looks works well. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. Actually, with the t amount of time I have left, I think I can go for a... 15 to 20 minute uh, sur uh, survival match and then I can probably show off some more of uh, Valkyrie's abilities because quite frankly she is fun to play. Like I said, not the most effective frame but she's fairly fun to play. I just gotta switch out that one mod. What do I want to switch out? The one I can switch out is probably Streamline. Because I don't want to lower my health and I don't want to lower my armor. don't want to lower my shield either. Or power attack speed. Yeah, I think I can throw that away. Okay, so... Um... I've never actually gone to the tower survival and use the grenade launcher yet mostly I've been move using my Supra so hopefully this is interesting for all of us and hopefully I can gain a few levels a lone Tenno operative is raiding this ship for supplies you are here to distract the enemy trigger the alarm Okay, this is a uh, dead end. But the grenades from the Petra Penta do a base damage of around do a base of around 300 damage, which then can be modded with um, serration and a couple other. Damn, I'm generating a lot of heat. Ow, chihuahua. And like I said, a big thing about the Penta, you can hurt yourself with the grenades. Also, the grenades really don't have that big of an explosive radius. Also, the grenades don't affect these things for some reason. The only reason that exploded was because I actually hit it with the, uh, the um, the projectile rather than the explosion. Also, the corpus seem to love to avoid the damage put out by the penta. The 
only happen with the um, staff weapons as well. Yeah, I don't. Once in a while, stuff like that happens too. Is there anything interesting up here? Quadruple kill. And it's really satisfying to get those multi kills with the Penta. It's a very fun weapon to use. Not the easiest to control, mind you, but one of the funner ones. Next thing you have to keep in mind is just explosive radius and where you're actually putting your bullets or your grenades. Be a bit more appropriate term. Once I get a proper potato, I'll definitely have a lot of fun with this gun. Right now, I'm just, I'm low on potatoes. I'm tired of getting Meg Prime blueprints. I do not want Meg Prime blueprints. I have so many of those freaking things. I didn't even like the original Prime. I don't want the Prime. I, mean, that, uh, I didn't like the original Meg. I don't want the Prime. Ah. Reload the weapon if you would. I'm surprised I'm still alive at this point. How many people that were after me at once? Yeah. Gotcha. I hate it when that happens. 
Jesus. I'm getting a bug with, um, what's the damage type, uh, frost damage type, ice damage type, because I once in a while get that applied, or at least that's what the image shows. thing that I'd like them to do is just give the projectile a little bit more oomph, a little bit more speed out of the barrel because it really seems like it doesn't it arcs very heavily and since this is so much so supposed to be such an advanced weapon with such an advanced history I mean you'd think you'd be able to get a little bit more distance out of it before going kabloom 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 Yes, I know, I'm not making much cogent sense here. But it's very ammo efficient, it works on just about everything. It's up there. Come on, up we go. Up we go. There we go. And there's nothing up here, actually. Hm. It's actually fairly dark. See what I mean by the arcing problem? There we go. Huh, there's a... Uh, Forma, yes! Well, I got enough Forma already. I need potato. Give me potato! You want potato so I can make french fries. Okay, now I gotta activate this thing because I'm low on health. Well, not, not health, I'm low on uh, oxygen. Whatever the heck these things breathe. There we go. Come on, up we go. You little bitch.
distribution core. Let's see, I should have a minute twenty some seconds left. So that means I'll go for that last life support and then I wish they'd fix that. Come on, I don't need another one. Now, there's probably some person out there complaining they can't get the damn thing. I don't want a freaking Meg Prime. Ah, fuck. And I got a soul punch, wonderful. Well, a Warframe that quite frankly, I don't know why I got it, because it was hyped. Vacuum. Life okay. support on the way. I'm done. I am done. I am sorry, Mission but complete. like, I got two Meg Prime blueprints when I should have gotten something useful. I already have a fucking Meg Prime blueprint. I don't need them anymore. I don't need more of them. Be gone. I'm freaking Meg Prime. Some people like her. I don't. <sighs> Whatever. 298 kills. Fire accuracy 60%. I swear I got enough multi-pill kills to make up for that. Maybe the explosion actually doesn't count towards my overall hit percentage. Oh well. So, thumbs up Valkyrie, thumbs up Penta, it's good. This has been Demonocalypse. I thank you for watching. Have a pleasant day.